I have also repeatedly called for an immediate, comprehensive and independent investigation into all human rights violations that have taken place in recent months in Ukraine. These include killings, disappearances, arbitrary detentions, torture, and ill treatment. I strongly believe that respect for human rights norms and standards, building a society that is inclusive of the rights of all, is key to finding a peaceful and durable solution to the current crisis. Nearly five years on from the end of the conflict in Sri Lanka, I regret that the government has failed to satisfy the Council's call for a credible and independent investigation into allegations of serious human rights violations. I am therefore recommending that the time has come for the Council to establish its own international inquiry mechanism, which I believe can play a positive role where domestic mechanisms have failed. protecting human rights in the context of counter-terrorism has continued to be problematic, as with the failure to close the United States Guantanamo Bay detention facility. In Egypt, where the government is launching what it describes as a counter-terrorism campaign, it is important that human rights are respected, in particular protection from arbitrary detention, fair trial and freedom of expression and peaceful assembly. My office stands ready to assist. Armed drone attacks have also raised deep concern, particularly regarding transparency, accountability and redress for victims. I am deeply distressed by the many boat tragedies off the coasts of Greece, Italy, Malta, and Spain, and I call on the authorities to strengthen systems to protect against such events. As we have heard, UNHCR estimates that 73% of the migrants arriving in Italy meet the legal criteria for refugee status, and it is important that they have access to the proper asylum procedures. I must emphasize that persons seeking international protection in the territorial sea or at maritime borders must be treated in the same way as those who apply for protection on land. Clearly, much more needs to be done to protect the human rights of migrants in this region.